Hello and welcome back to another video. It's me, MG Plays here, and in today's video, I am gonna be showing you guys how to import cars into Roblox Studio. Um, so for today's oh, for today's video, I am just gonna be using one simple website. Um, in order to in order to actually be able to take cars off the website you will have to sign up and um, the site I'm gonna be using is 3ds warehouse which is developed by SketchUp um, it's a pretty cool website not gonna lie so since you guys were asking to make a tutorial on how to import cars into roblox so i'm just gonna look up a random car which is from the ferrari family let me just grab a ferrari f8 tribute <clears throat> and then since i have sketchup 2019 i'm gonna download it with sketchup 2019 um make sure to download it somewhere where you could access it you can change i believe you could change the file format but i'm just gonna use um sketchup so which well what you want to look for if you want to have a nice car is if the file size is pretty big that just and there's a lot a lot of polygons you're gonna get lucky so let me launch SketchUp. SketchUp. So if you want to use SketchUp, you could grab a 30-day trial, or you could buy it. But um, I mean, or you could get a cracked version, which is all right, I guess. But let me change this back to a SketchUp file, and open the file. So it's actually pretty easy to um import cars into Roblox but if you're using 3ds warehouse which is totally fine you will have to do more work but I mean you're getting this cool Ferrari F8 um, I it looks cool not gonna lie but I'm not into like the body so since we're on SketchUp right now, you can move around, etc. All you want to do is press go to file, top left hand corner of your screen, go to export 3D model. And since we're using Blender, uh, what we could do is execute it under Blender. Um, so I am going to go and export it as an OBJ file on my desktop so while this is doing it um which is gonna take a little bit of time um what i could go ahead and do is i i wanna um well i guess i'll try um i'll, I'll try using 3 3ds max for a um well you could also get 3ds max but if you want to pay a thousand dollars a year or no a month just to use it go for it if you already own it go for it but from what i remember you could actually um open sketchup files and 3d 3ds max which is pretty cool but 3d 3ds max is basically a professional grade software for uh, model development so like let's say I work at Epic Games and w we at Epic Games use 3ds Max to make all, our, all of our stuff or let's say I work at Epic Games and I use Blender so <clears throat> I mean it's cool not gonna lie but um I'm just chilling and waiting Probably. Oh, it opened. Okay. <sighs> Fun. Just sitting here and waiting. Forty-three percent. Okay. So, 
if you do own Autodesk 3DS Max, um, you could use it. Go for it. But like, it, yes, it can open a lot, a lot more files than Blender can. But it's easier to use Blender. And all the stuff I'm using in this video, I will be linking in the description. So, oops. Okay, so let's see. Import and can I? Oh, cool, I can. So, yeah, you could use this to like import sketch of files. Import. Let's see if this works. Okay, this is at 62%. Cool. So. I mean, I think Autodesk Autodesk is cool, but I don't. I rarely use it, so yay. But um, yeah, you can't open sketch of files in 3ds Max. Let me. Uh, <clears throat> cool. Let me just close it, so I'm not using up my resources. I'm just gonna skip one it well I'm just gonna well nah I'm just gonna wait <sighs> fun 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 okay um let me just skip to the next part where I'm just gonna explain what you you're gonna do so <clears throat> once the file finished which it still hasn't finished for me it's still going um, what you want to do is open up Blender. First, you want to install Blender. I'm using the version 2.79 because I am used to this version. I don't like the new version. So, you, uh, you want to delete the blocks. J block, just click, well, press X and then enter or return. And then, once this finishes, what you want to do is press file go into import and then you want to press obj file so that once you press it you're gonna get this screen um, you want to go to the location where you put the vehicle so for me it's in on my desktop so I'm just gonna wait for this to finish but after well yeah but after you like opened in there you wanna click the parts you wanna you know I'm gonna stop confusing you guys <laughs> um okay so since it's finished now let me just close out of it we're gonna go into file import obj and then we wanna click the obj file that uh... then you should see like a dark square on your screen then in my like stop responding but don't click anything on this screen because if you do then you're gonna fully cl crash blender but um what should happen it should load in the vehicle so once it loads in the vehicle you could freely click on the parts so um <clears throat> now what I like to do is I like to have a few blender tabs open so it's easier to um export the parts so I'm just gonna click on this body part and just do control pl control plus C which copies it and then you could do X return or enter um <clears throat> and then you wanna go here and just do control V now you should have the body in here you could also modify it by right clicking uh tab and then you could move the triangles let's say I want to delete the these triangles so I'm just gonna do I'm gonna click Z and then it should open up this and then I'm just gonna make sure I highlighted everything I want and then I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna press P and then enter return and whatever it should like delete that polygon or whatever you want to call it but um that's not what we're doing so <clears throat> when you when you're 
importing um, vehicles into Roblox, you want to make sure you get uh, under the 10,000 poly, well, triangle, um, triangles, because if it's like this, and let's say, oh, look, here's like 30 or 20,000 polygons or triangles, Roblox is going to say, nope, we don't allow, allow it, so, um, we're going to click file, export and then you the best thing you could do is make a file well folder and then just put everything in the folder but um I'm just gonna use my desktop so I'm just gonna call this body a let it export and then you wanna go on Roblox open a studio tab you could use any studio base plate or whatever I, um what well, now we want to insert a mesh part, so I'm just going to right-click on the ground, or you could go in workspace and click the plus and do mesh. You could also click right-click and then insert and then mesh. So once we have a mesh, we could change the color. I do recommend using a smooth plastic for the only reason being is because if I do import this, so like here, the body is too big. There is 20,000 polygons or triangles. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to click tab and then just right click on a polygon and then just click Z. And what I like to do is hold control and just like select a part like this and then just do P enter or return now you should have two body parts and I'm just gonna repeat the process so boom yeah this is definitely not gonna import but whatever so we're gonna go back in Roblox I do recommend you copying the name of the part and you want to put it in the correct spot because if you don't it's going to randomly put the parts around the map um but this way it's going to import vehicles so i do recommend you calling it whatever the file name is well for the part <clears throat> so since this was body a boom body a so um yes it's small um i am also going to link the re model resize tool I do like to use because you could actually like size size it to whatever size you want because if I do use the Roblox resize tool it, it, it's, it's not gonna work the right way and you could tell because I mean you could hold sh shift but like when you have other parts for the body, it's going to just size it to like, oh, look, like this size. And you're, you're like, well, I can't like resize it anymore. So I do recommend you using the resize tool. But, um, yeah, it's pretty simple. So, um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I am going to be making some other tutorials on other stuff. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe and turn the post notifications on to know when I upload videos. I'm rarely going to be streaming now. So, yeah. Um more to come though yeah stay safe wash your hands practice social distancing keep your family safe you you guys stay safe and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh talk to you later